Coming uh, next, uh, management of Arvind Fashions. Uh, we have uh, Kulin Lalbhai now joining in. He's executive uh, director at Arvind Fashions. Uh, Kulin, great to have you with us here on CNBC TV 18. Good morning, uh, Prashant side. Could you give us a, a real sense of, you know, uh, sales in this uh, quarter so far? Uh, how things panned out? I mean, there was the Black Friday sale as well. Our overall sales back below, back above uh, pre-COVID levels. Uh, just some qualitative picture, Kulin. Sure, this has been a very strong year overall on demand. And I think the theme of this year has been, you know, the re-energizing and re resurgence of the offline side of the business. If you visit any mall of the country today over a weekend, I think you will see the sheer number of people that are out there to shop. So I think in general, the, the mood of the market and the underlying growth drivers are very, very strong in the first half of the year. We've grown at, uh, you know, upwards of 40%. And even the Diwali, last year, in fact, Diwali was a very strong quarter because it was the quarter where people uh, just had gotten back out after the COVID waves. So the base itself was strong. And even on that uh, strong base, we continue to see growth. So I think the momentum, the growth momentum continues to be strong. Mm -hmm. Any uh, big strategic shifts plans for 2023? Can you outline your top three initiatives for the next year? Sure, you know, we've charted out a very clear strategy for ourselves for the next three years. We are now focused on building very, very large uh, mega brands. Uh, the idea is, you know, we have these um, five to six very, very strong brands which are leaders in their segments. And we would want each of them to become a thousand crore plus brand in this next three year period. So one of them is already very, very large. Uh, US Polo, we shared with the market um, in the first half itself, by in the month till the month of October, it has crossed revenues of a thousand crores and it will emerge as uh, the leading uh, largest uh, casual wear brand in the country. And similarly, we have a lot of 500 crore brands and we will um, try and scale them up to that thousand crore mark because that's when you know, there is a huge pivot on the profitability and return on capital employed side. So we are going to scale up significantly. And the couple of drivers of growth, we are going to be opening stores. India is opening up with small town India now, really consuming branded apparel very differently. So we are opening upwards of 200 stores every year across these brands. We are dominant in the digital channel. We expect that channel to continue to remain extremely vibrant. So we will grow with digital and build our capabilities there. And we're also scaling up very exciting uh, adjacent categories within these brands. So we are becoming very uh, well established in footwear, innerwear, kids wear. Uh, these are all opportunities for these brands to become truly lifestyle brands. And with scale, we expect uh, much improved profitability and return on capital employed moving forward. Hi, Kulin. Always good hearing your thoughts. You're sounding quite, uh, you know, optimistic about uh, demand on ground. So that's pretty good news. You briefly mentioned uh, profitability right now. So give us a sense on that. What's the targeted margins out there? You're in the high single digits. Do you think you can maintain it at around double digits? And if things are looking so good, do you end this year with revenues of close to around 4,000 crores? Yes, on the profitability side, you know, the, the guidance we've given is that for our power brand portfolio, we do expect overall pre NDAS double digit profitability in, in within 12 months. And hopefully at a company level also, uh, in 18 months time, we will be double digit pre NDAS profitable. So um, as we scale up these brands and the operating leverage kicks in, you will see this enhanced profitability. We've been also every quarter showing how the profitability is going up, and we expect that uh, trend to continue. On the scale and the revenue equation, I think the kind of uh, revenues you spoke about are, uh, are what we should be able to achieve this year. Uh, how many large brands do you think? You, you said how US Polo is the first 1,000 crore brand that you have. How many more such can achieve that milestone in 2023? And do you have any brands which are currently unprofitable or are not meeting your strategic requirements and you may look to offload that? So, um, you know, US Polo is a lot larger than 1,000 crores, but we, the rest of our brands are around that uh, 500 plus or minus crore mark. So they will take a couple of years to get to the 1,000 crore mark, but they are well on their way. 
Um, as far as our portfolio is concerned, we do not have unprofitable brands now. We exited the businesses which we believed were unprofitable and unstrategic uh, uh, over the last two, three years. So everything we have today is break even plus, uh, with the large brands obviously having higher um, profitability in general. And as we scale uh, the other mid sized ones to much larger scale, we will see them also converge to higher profitability. All right, uh, Kulin, what's the ideal revenue mix between online and offline? You know, post co obviously during COVID period, uh, you know, that ratio got stretched in favor of online. But as of now, I mean, going ahead, how do you see things sh uh, shape up? So we have kind of uh, post COVID uh, changed the base of online. So, you know, online used to be a 15 to 16% of revenue sort of channel pre COVID. Of course, during COVID, it became a very dominant channel. But now that, you know, the offline channel has fully recovered and it's, in fact, now, as I mentioned, very vibrant, the online share has now uh, stabilized to around 25%. Now, if you take a longer term period over the next five to 10 years, the online channel will uh, grow faster than, uh, than the offline channel because that's structurally how it is in every part of the world. So one could expect this 25% to gradually move up uh, in the years to come. Okay, got mm -hmm. it. All right. And also, you know, you briefly mentioned you're also moving into uh, new, new uh, revenue streams like footwear. Uh, could you tell us what's the target out there? Say by 2025, what kind of revenues could come in from this segment? So, you know, this year our footwear business uh, will be close to 250 crores. It's been a very interesting business for us because like apparel, there is a dramatic change happening on the footwear side where the country is casualizing. I think you may have seen how many people wear sneakers even to office uh, nowadays. And since we have such dominant casual wear brand, it gives us the opportunity to actually try and play a more um, you know, dominant role as far as the casual sneaker part of footwear is concerned. And that's where US Polo is emerging as a very uh, strong brand uh, on the digital and offline side. And uh, because the business is still relatively small, we've built this business up over the last five years, it should grow uh, much faster than the core business. So, you know, there is an opportunity to, uh, you know, double the business in the next uh, three years or so. What's the growth rate of the online channel versus the offline channel? You said that online channel is growing a lot faster. It's about 25% of your revenues. What's the growth rate that we've seen recently? If you look at the last 10 years, the growth rates have been very high. Even the last three years, it's been more than a 25% CAGR. Now, of course, the base has become much larger. Um, you know, uh, online is now uh, one of the dominant channels. So I, I, I do still believe that structurally, you know, around a 20% growth over the next three, four years should be possible in the online channel. Okay. All right, Kulin. Always good hearing your thoughts. Thanks so much for joining in all of 2022. And we look forward to chatting up with you in 2023, unless we make announcement in the next few days. Thank Wishing you. Wishing you a good uh, you know, Christmas as well as festival season.